Hey, what's up guys? My name's Seb and today I'm gonna to show you how I edit my videos in Premiere Pro for TikTok. Alright guys, so I've been posting on TikTok for about seven months now and the majority of the videos I've posted have been edited on Premiere Pro, so I thought I'd make a video how I edit my videos in Premiere Pro for TikTok. One little thing before we get started is when you're shooting your videos, don't shoot them in landscape mode like this. Rotate your camera 90 degrees so you get the vertical aspect ratio because that's what's native to TikTok. Now that that's out of the way, let's jump straight into Premiere Pro and start editing your videos. Alright guys, welcome to Premiere Pro. What we're going to do is start a new project. So we're just going to name it TikTok quickly and then choose your location where you want to save it. So I'm just going to put it on my desktop and then all of this you can just leave it and press OK. Now the first thing we're going to do is create our sequence. So click on this button right here and select sequence then go straight to settings and then your editing mode will be set as custom say your fps so i'm shooting at 25 fps so i'm going to leave it to that and then what you're going to want to do is set your frame size to 1080 by 1920 what that's going to do is create a vertical aspect ratio of 9 by 16 the rest of this you can just leave it you can also name your sequence so i'm just going to create it as tiktok now what you're going to want to do now is add your clips so I'm gonna add my raw clips into the project right here and then I'm gonna drag them onto the timeline. It's gonna come up with a pop-up box like this just to keep existing settings because that's gonna be the correct aspect ratio for TikTok. But you will notice that it's flipped and that's because you originally shot your video like this instead of like that. So all you have to do is now rotate your clip. So what you have to do is click on your clip right here and where it says rotation, you select 90 degrees. So it will either be 90 degrees or minus 90 degrees depending on the angle that you shot. Um, but for me, it's 90 degrees. And because I shot in 4K, I'm gonna have to scale it down so it looks a little bit nicer. Now, because I'm using two clips, I have to do the same thing on the other one. But what you can actually do is just copy the settings by right clicking and select copy, and then select that clip and do paste attributes. Now select scale attributes and motion, and then that'll paste it just like that. Now the video I'm editing now is an invitation to my private Facebook group. So what you're gonna need to do is start cutting up your clip. So essentially I want to aim for about 15 seconds. So what you can do to start editing your clip is if you double tap right here, it'll make your clip a little bit bigger so you can actually see your waveforms and your clip. So that's really nice. When you're editing, you can press C to get your cursor or you can click it right here and then you can start chopping up your clip like that. And if you want your hand back, you just press V for your selection tool and then you can start organizing your clips. So what I'm gonna have to do is put my headphones on and start cutting up accordingly so I can get the exact message across that I want to portray. So I'll jump back to the sequence once I've edited all of that. Up. All right, so I've just edited my clip and as you can see, it's no longer a big piece of footage. It's a 15 second video, which is perfect for my TikTok video. So I'll just play it for you so you can have a listen. If you're a video creator or photographer, listen up because I wanna to talk to you guys. Over the past several months, we've built a really great community here. We've got almost 60,000 followers and I want to do something like a little bit more. So I've decided to create a private Facebook group where we can all connect, help each other out if we've got any questions. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, be sure to check out the link in my bio. All right, so as you can see, the video is pretty good, but there's something missing. You can see that the picture profile is pretty flat. So what I'm gonna do now is quickly color correct my footage. So I'll show you how to do that. All you have to do is go to your color tab right here and then you should have a section called Lumetri Color. Make sure your clip is selected. Now, what I like to do is add a little bit of black first. So I'll add that just until I like it. I'll also make it a little bit whiter and I'll also add a bit of shadow. And then what I'll do is also add some highlights and I'll add a tiny bit of contrast. And then overall, I'll add my exposure up a little bit. Now that's already looking a lot better. If we go to the graded clip and then the ungraded clip, you'll see a massive difference. So what you can do now is copy your settings and then paste them onto the rest of your clips just like that. So now that you can see all my clips are graded, but I'm gonna go one step further and I'm gonna add an adjustment layer onto the top of my clips. So you just drag that on top right there. And then what I'm gonna do now is add a LUT. So make sure your adjustment layer is selected and go to creative. I'm gonna add a LUT that I really like. As you can see, it's a little bit red. So I'm gonna change the intensity to about 33%. And then I'm gonna to go to my curve section right here and then reduce the reds even more so I'm not too red. And you know what, that looks pretty good to me. So what we're gonna do now is go to the export settings and I'll show you the best export settings to get the highest quality on TikTok. So there's two ways you can do this. You can press Control M or you can go to file right here and then go to export and do media. Once you're there, select format H.264, select match source high bitrate, and then make sure your width is 1080 and your height is 1920. If for some reason your dimensions aren't that, you can select this right here and then you can input it automatically. But for me, that's completely fine. We're gonna scroll down a little bit and select render at maximum depth. 
and then we're going to keep scrolling until we get to bitrate settings. Now I like to change it to VBR pass 2 and then I'll set both of them to 8 because that's what I find works best on TikTok. And finally we're going to select maximum render quality on. Now all you have to do is press export and then your video should be ready. Now you just need to upload it to your phone so you can do that via Dropbox or G Drive. Once you've done that, you're pretty much ready to go and you go straight into TikTok and upload your video. If you did find this video helpful at all, please do leave a like and let me know in the comments. And if you haven't already, then subscribe. It will really help me out and encourage me to make more videos. But yeah guys, if you did enjoy this video, let me know and I'll see you in the next one.